Well, our top focus story continues to remain the political developments that have taken place in Afghanistan in the last few hours. The Taliban has announced an interim government for Afghanistan in which top terrorists are now ministers. Mullah Hassan Akhand has been named as the head of this interim Taliban government. Dreaded terrorist Siraj Haqqani has been named as the Afghan interior minister. Mullah Omar's son will be defense minister in the interim government. Mullah Baradar has been named deputy prime minister. So top wanted terrorists is basically what constitutes the new Taliban government. Afghanistan's new Prime Minister and Interior Minister Siraj Haqqani are on global terror lists. They are on UN and US terror lists. Former President Hamid Karzai, leader Abdullah Abdullah have found no space in the new Taliban government. Only uh, Taliban leaders are in the new Afghan government. There has been no other factions that have found any kind of representation in this new interim government. The question here is uh, whether there was a Pakistan hand behind this Afghan terror government being formed in the way it has because uh, Siraj Haqqani has got a key portfolio in the, in, uh, in the interior ministry. Uh, he is of course a dreaded terrorist. Doha political wing has been totally sidelined with only hardliners getting key posts and this really is the huge cause of concern. Now amid the crisis in Afghanistan, the Russian NSA is going to be visiting uh, India. There will be a high level India-Russia consultation which will be led by the national security advisors on both sides. Intergovernmental consultations will be based on the strategy going forward as far as Afghanistan is concerned now that there are top terrorists who are in fact at the helm of affairs in one of India's neighbouring countries. The meeting is being seen as the outcome of a recent telephone conversation between Prime Minister Modi and the Russian ple President Vladimir Putin. Meanwhile, let's uh, shift our focus now to the other big development that we're tracking from back home. This is uh, the showdown between farmers and the Haryana government in Karnal yesterday. Administration offices in Karnal became the site of a big face-off between the farmers and the police. The farmers, well, why are they protesting in Karnal? They are protesting against the August 28th uh, Lati charge. They've geared out the mini secretariat. Before the protest march even began, the chief minister ordered last-minute talks, but the talks failed. Farmers then decided to march towards the mini-secretariat. Right, so we will of course continue to keep a close watch on all those uh, developments, protesting farmers there uh, in Haryana, de also demanding uh, that the officer that in fact made that break heads remark be uh, immediately sacked. That uh, particular officer, remember, was earlier transferred. Meanwhile, uh, on to the other big developments uh, that we are tracking today. Let's shift our focus uh, to the COVID story playing out in India right now. Cabinet Minister and the Maharashtra government and even the mayor of Mumbai have said that a third wave is here. Now, cases in Mumbai are up 55% from two weeks ago. What really is the situation on the ground? Here's a report. At least two officials in Maharashtra have said the third wave is here, in Mumbai and in Nagpur. Mumbai's cases in September are already 28% of all of August's. The last week has seen over 2,800 cases, which is 55% more than the weekly total a fortnight ago. In Nagpur, a minister from the Congress declared a third wave as well. But in Nagpur, while the jump over the last fortnight is sharper, over 150%, the total cases are only 49. So is it being blown out of proportion? Two top ministers played down the third wave comments. Nagpur cha vapti tenniyek tenchi palakko mantri moun aadhava gyun kai goshti zarur bolle asti, parantu 
आज मला एक नक्की सांगायचं आहे की निर्बंध वाढवण्याच्या संदर्भात आरोग्य विभाग किंवा माननीय मुख्यमंत्री अद्याप काही असा विचार विचारात नाही आहेत की माननीय मुख्यमंत्रीच या बाबतीतले ऑब्झर्वेशन आणि आकडे लक्षात घेऊन निर्णय घेतील मला वाटतं आत्ता काळजी आपण स्वतःहून घेणं गरजेचं आहे कारण थोडी जी लोकांमध्ये मनात शंका असते की जायला पाहिजे की नको मला वाटतं जेवढं जेवढं तुम्ही स्वतःची काळजी घेऊ शकाल अंतर ठेवू शकाल मास्क घालू शकाल आणि गर्दी कमी करू शकाल तेवढे निर्बंध कमी लागतील कारण तिसरी लाट जसं मी सांगितलं हे पूर्णपणे आपल्यावर निर्भर आहे की आपण किती लवकर ती खेचायची की किती लांब ठेवायची क्राउड आर एक्सपेक्टेड इन द रन अप टू द गणेश चतुर्थी नेक्स्ट वीक More than two thirds of the COVID patients at major COVID centers in Mumbai are at the moment unvaccinated, according to a study of the numbers of these centers. With people out on promenades like Marine Drive, marshals like these are ensuring that people wear masks. In the meantime, leaders like Nitin Raut, Energy Minister, and Mumbai Mayor Kishori Pednekar are saying the third wave is already here, based on the spike in the number of COVID cases over the last few days. But Health authorities say that the current numbers of COVID cases is nothing close to what is expected in the third wave. In Mumbai, with camera person Rajendra Dhyalkar, Sarab Gupta, NDTV. Meanwhile, uh, staying with uh, the COVID numbers, Kerala's cases have dipped to under 29,000 a day, but uh, still 69% of all India's cases, or at least daily cases, are coming in from Kerala. The Kerala government, however, has decided to lift the night curfew and the Sunday lockdown. COVID review meeting, eh? സംസ്ഥാന ഏർപ്പെടുത്തിയിട്ടുള്ള രാത്രികാല നിയന്ത്രണങ്ങൾ അത് രാത്രി പത്ത് മണി മുതൽ രാവിലെ ആറ് മണി വരെയുള്ള നിയന്ത്രണം അതേപോലെ തന്നെ ഞായറാഴ്ചയിലെ ലോക്ക്ഡൗൺ ഇത് രണ്ടും പിൻവലിക്കാൻ ഇന്നത്തെ അവലോകന യോഗം തീരുമാനിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് Moving on to uh, the other big political news that we're tracking today, Chhattisgarh Chief Minister Bhupesh Baghel's father, Nand Kumar Baghel, was arrested and sent to 15 days custody by a court in Raipur for allegedly making derogatory remarks against the Brahmin community. After his father was charged for the comments, the Chief Minister stressed that uh, for his government, no one was above the law. The Chhattisgarh police arrested the Chief Minister's father from Delhi and brought him to Raipur. Nan Kumar Baghel has been sent to judicial remand for 15 days for making derogatory remarks against the Brahmin community. Chief Minister Bhupesh Baghel on Sunday made it clear his father would get no special treatment. पूरा सम्मान लेकिन मुख्यमंत्री के रूप में मेरी जिम्मेदारी है कि समाज में विभिन्न वर्ग के लोगों के बीच में समरसता भाईचारे बना रहना चाहिए और यदि उसे कोई खंडित करने की कोशिश करे तो उनके खिलाफ जो कानूनी कार्रवाई है विधि सम्मत कार्रवाई है की जाए उत्तर प्रदेश का चुनाव है वोट को साधने की राजनीति है इसलिए उत्तर प्रदेश में जाके उनके पिताजी ने जो शब्दों का प्रयोग किया है समाज के लिए भारतीय जनता पार्टी उसकी निंदा करती है कहीं उत्तर प्रदेश की सरकार उसको गिरफ्तार न कर ले इसलिए छत्तीसगढ़ की सरकार ने अपना जाल बिछाया द ब्राह्मण समाज अ ब्राह्मण एक्टिविस्ट ग्रुप हैड कंप्लेन एंड द पुलिस रजिस्टर्ड अ केस अगेंस्ट बघेल सीनियर फॉर प्रमोटिंग एनमिटी एंड फॉर अ स्पीच प्रोवोकिंग वायलेंस 86 year old Nand Kumar Baghel is known for his anti brahmanical ideology but this controversy has hit the state in the middle of a leadership tussle between Bhupesh Baghel and his cabinet colleague Tia Singh Dev it's Omesh Patel in Raipur Anurag Dwari for NDTV BSP chief Mayawati and AIMIM chief Asauddin Owaisi both addressed rallies in Uttar Pradesh on Tuesday Four-time Chief Minister Mayawati, who's been out of power for a decade now in this state, was addressing a rally of Brahmins, while Asaudi Noisi, uh, whose electoral debut in Uttar Pradesh in the 2017 polls was a disaster, was at a district in Ayodhya, Muslim-dominated district, as he tries to resurrect the AIMIM there. We 
two leaders effectively launching their UP campaign. BSP chief and four-term chief minister Mayawati out of power for a decade fighting for political survival. And Asaduddin OVC of the AIMIM looking for a political foothold in India's most populous state. Both addressing rallies 60 kilometers from each other. In Lucknow, Mayawati held a meeting focused on Brahmins, the last of a series organized by her party. The Bahujan Samaj Party is trying to resurrect a 2007 SC plus Brahmin votes formula that gave Mayawati an uninterrupted five-year run as Chief Minister. Brahmins are estimated to be about 11% of Uttar Pradesh's population. प्रदेश के नगर नगर ये खुलकर कहने लगे हैं कि इन सभी पार्टियों की सरकारों की तुलना में बीएसपी का शासनकाल हर मामले में वे हर स्तर पर कई गुना बेहतर रहा है। But the loudest cheers came when Mayawati promised to shun parks, monuments and memorials, including those dedicated to herself, a contentious legacy of a last term. अब हमें कोई नया फिर से हमें कोई नया स्मारक या पार्क या उनकी मूर्तियां आदि फिर से लगाने की जरूरत नहीं पड़ेगी जितना मुझे मुझे काम करना था मैंने थोक के भाव कर दिया मायावती हु स्टैच्यू यू कैन सी बिहाइंड मी मेड अ होल होस्ट ऑफ प्रॉमिसेस ड्यूरिंग हर रैली हियर एट द बीएसपी पार्टी ऑफिस इन लखनऊ बट गोइंग फ्रॉम दोस प्रॉमिसेस टू गेटिंग एक्चुअल वोट्स ऑन द ग्राउंड फॉर द पार्टी इज गोइंग टू बी अ टफ टास्क विद जस्ट मंथ्स left for crucial UP assembly elections. In 2007, there was no place in 2007. Okay. After that, the three-fourth majority came. The full majority became our government. And, inshallah, we hope that the Prabhu Dhamma is going to be very important. This is a very important message. Two days, we have been talking about the Prabhu Dhamma. The Prabhu Dhamma is going to be very important. Telangana-based Asaduddin Uvesi, whose party the AIMIM's UP poll debut in 2017 on 38 seats, resulted in zero wins and just 0.2% vote share is trying for a resurrection on the back of an alliance with 10 regional outfits. Uvesi visited the Ayodhya district, referring to it by its previous name Faizabad before the Adityanath government changed it. Uvesi Ayodhya ka naam nahi lete hai. kaha bhai saab. अयोध्या भी भारत में है, फैजाबाद भी भारत में है और ओवेसी भी भारत में है। ओवेसी पार्टी फॉर्ट रीसेंट असेंबली पोल्स इन बंगाल एंड बिहार टू एंड फेस्ट एक्यूजेशंस फ्रॉम ममता बैनर्जी टीएमसी एंड द आरजेडी इन बिहार ऑफ एक्टिंग एस द बीजेपी बी टीम बाय डिवाइडिंग मुस्लिम Welcome back. Putting an end to all the speculation, the Congress party announced that it wouldn't field a candidate against the West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee in the upcoming Bhavanipur bipole, which she is contesting later this month. The Congress also clarified that it won't be campaigning against Mamata Banerjee. The left, which had earlier said uh, that if the Congress didn't contest, then it was ready to contest, is yet to react to this Congress uh, decision. Uh, the two were alliance, were in an alliance, remember, for the West Bengal Assembly elections held earlier this year. Both drew a blank. The Congress feels that by fielding a candidate against the Chief Minister, it may indirectly help the BJP in some way by dividing votes. This is what uh, the West Bengal Congress Chief and uh, MP Adhiranjan Chaudhary told NDTV. <laughs> कांग्रेस को प्रार्थी देवे ना को प्रचार करा प्रचार करा प्रचार करा ममता बनार्जी बिुदे भवानीपुर प्रचार करा ममता बनार्जी बिुदे समर्थन असमान ममता बनार्जी बिुदे प्रचार करब ना देखो गुलो लोकाल ही कि Welcome back. The top story we're tracking from the world of sport. India grabbed five gold medals from the Paralympics, a never-before result. And these shining stars, in fact, spoke with NDTV about their trials, tribulations, rejections, inspirations and much more. The gold medal moment, where everyone was waiting for that. Uh, 
it was it was like uh, i went blank for some time when i won the gold and i i was just in the moment at that time and i didn't know what was happening around me but when the flag went up when when the national anthem of india was played and it, it was just so overwhelming i was so happy krishna har athlete ka ek jalwa hota hai ek there is one special thing about every athlete aur aapka hai jump smash agar iska starting bataun to as a मेरी फैमिली में सब लोग नॉर्मल है नॉर्मल हाइट सबका तो मेरा भाई मेरे से लंबा है छोटा वाला तो ऐसा हम थोड़ा बैट दो शर्ट लगाते थे कि कौन कितना लंबा जंप कर सकता है तो हम तो ऐसे ट्रेनिंग हो गया जैसे मैं फिजिकल एक्टिविटीज़ पहले बहुत करता था तो उसमें हम बहुत ये सब चीज़ें बहुत करते थे क्योंकि मुझे एक बार ये था कि मुझे मेरा हाइट बढ़ान हाइट के लिए मैं बहुत कुछ करता था उस वक्त Abhi, talking about inspirations, um, we know that you were inspired by Abhinav Bindra's uh, gold medal, and the book reached you at some point. Would you say that kind of was a turning point for you, and that was the moment you wanted to become a professional shooter? When I went to the shooting range in 2015, I went uh, in my summer vacations, and it was just a hobby in the starting. And uh, I didn't, I couldn't even lift the rifle properly. And uh, when I started. It, it i i was just like i borrowed it from someone i didn't have any proper equipment so it was just normal hobby uh but when i read uh, abhinav bindra sir's auto autobiography it inspired me a lot and you know he was the you know only uh, individual gold medalist at that time and i i also dreamt of you know representing my country at such levels and you know hopefully win a medal at that time so um yeah that that you can say it was a turning point in my life because shooting has uh, given me a, a lot of self confidence a lot of self believe and you know i can now uh, roll around the world on wheels and it's it's like it is all which is coming to me is because of shooting so yeah you can say world on wheels if you were to meet abhinav today what would you tell him um thank you so much <laughs> and you know uh, it's because of uh, someone like him that inspired me so you know i also want to become someone the this someone to uh, a lot of people so that you know nobody can feel like we ca- we can't achieve some something and you know someone look at me and say that because of her i didn't give up manish inspiration ki baatein ho rahi hai aap uh, aapke jo family hai usme sirf aap nahi teen teen shooters hai aapke uh, छोटे uh, भाई और बहन दोनों वर्ल्ड चैंपियनशिप के लिए जाएंगे यू आर द इंस्पिरेशन फॉर देम टू टेक अप शूटिंग शूटिंग मैम हाँ इंस्पिरेशन कह भी सकते हैं ये लेकिन शूटिंग एक ऐसा गेम है कि छोटे से भी सीखा जाता है बड़ों से भी सीखा जाता है तो सीखना ये नहीं होता कि मतलब बड़े से ही सीखा जाता सिर्फ सीखा सीखना नहीं बट इतने बड़े स्टेज में हाँ, परफॉर्म करना मेडल्स लाना तो जैसे मैं मेडल लेके आता हूँ तो उनके भी ये रहता है कि मतलब भाई लेके आया तो हमें भी करना ये तो वो ऐसे भी रहता है और हम आपस में कंपटीशन भी करते हैं कभी बहन जीत जाते हैं कभी शिवा जीत जाता है कभी मैं जीत जाता हूँ तो ये चलता ही रहता है हमारा फील्ड पर जब पहली बार आए आपको बहुत मुश्किलें हुई इसमें एक दिन जब मैं गया था फादर लेके गए थे तो उन्होंने बोला कि तुम्हें तुम क्या ही खेलोगे कि इतने लम इतने बड़े बड़े हैं हाइट में तुम इसे कैसे जीत पाओगे मैंने बोला एक बार ट्राई कर सकता हूँ क्या तो रिक्वेस्ट करने के बाद जब मुझे कोर्ट पर खेलने को दिया तो सर ने बोला सच में तो आज तब सर को भी जो वहाँ के कोच है मेरे जहाँ मैंने सीखा है खेलना तो वो भी थोड़ा शौक हो गए थे कि अरे फर्स्ट टाइम पर मतलब ऐसे खेल रहे तो तब वहाँ पर उन्होंने बोला कि ट्रेनिंग जब मेरा स्टार्ट हुआ था वहाँ पर से दोबारा प्रमोद फाइव टाइम वर्ल्ड चैंपियन ये जो लफ्ज़ है हम मैरी कॉम के लिए यूज़ करते हैं कि फाइव टाइम वर्ल्ड चैंपियन मैं अपने दर्शकों को कहना चाहूँगी हमारे साथ एक और फाइव टाइम वर्ल्ड चैंपियन बैठे हुए हैं इन पैरा बैडमिंटन पिछले कुछ सालों से आप एक बैडमिंटन इको में शायद रह रहे हैं उससे पहले दे वॉज नो इको आप अपने सिस्टर के घर में रहते थे उड़ीसा में सिस्टर के साथ रहते थे उस टाइम में जब आप बड़े हो रहे थे बिफोर यू टू कप बैडमिंटन किस तरह के यू नो सोशल स्टिग्मा आपको झेलना पड़ा वू वू ऑल्सो विक्टिम ऑफ बुलिंग 2009 में मैं वर्ल्ड वर्ल्ड चैंपियन बना तब इतना पॉपुलरिटी नहीं था पैरा में इवन पैरालंपिक में भी इतना नहीं था हाइक और ना ही मतलब तब के दौर पर देखा जाए तो स्पोर्ट्स को कोई रिकोगनाइज नहीं करता था तब मैं एक अपने एक छोटा सा शॉप खोल के बैठा था इलेक्ट्रिकल शॉप वर्कशॉप 
उस पर था तो वो मेरा एक टाइम था जो मुझे आज यहाँ पर पहुँचाया है मैं हर हर सुबह आता था और शाम को जाता था व्हाट्सअप के बाद All right, moving on. Uh, let's uh, shift our focus uh, to the big story that we are tracking in terms of the farmer agitation. My colleague Muhammad Ghazali reporting from uh, Ground Zero. Ghazali, there was a fierce face-off yesterday once again between protesting farmers uh, and the police. The talks failed. What are you picking up? Aye, aye, aye. Yeah, I'll tell you the situation right here. We can see uh, many farmers have ghered out the deputy commissioner's office. Uh, behind me, on the that side, is the deputy commissioner's office, and this entire crowd, if you can see here, is the farmers who have gathered here and they are making speeches. Yogendra Yadav is addressing the gathering right now. But I am joined here by Mr. Gurnam Singh Chaduni. He is the face, Haryana face of the agitation, who has led it for the last one year. We will speak to him about the plans now, since they have. Uh, got the first target they have achieved the first target of holding mahapanchayat and gherawing the dc office now what next gurnam ji aap logo ne mahapanchayat bhi kar li dc office ka gherav bhi kar liya ab kya plan hai aap logo ka dekhiye abhi tak dc office ke hi gherav ka plan hai ke ye tab tak jari rahega jab tak hum andolan jeet nahi jate jab tak hamari baatein mane nahi jati tab tak ke liye gherav jari rahega डीसी ऑफिस से या हरियाणा सरकार की तरफ से दोबारा किसी बातचीत का प्रस्ताव या कोई मैसेज आया हो नहीं दोबारा से भी कोई मैसेज नहीं आया है और जो कल बात हुई थी बस वही था कल उन्होंने कोई बात मान नहीं मानी थी तो बातचीत टूट गई थी उसके बाद कोई बात आगे नहीं बढ़ी मांगे एक बार दोहरा दें वही मांगे हैं जो पिछले अट्ठाईस तारीख से चल रही वही मांगे हैं नंबर एक जो दोषी अधिकारी हैं सिर पाड़ने का ऑर्डर देने के सिरों में लठ मारने के उनके ऊपर मुकदमा दर्ज हो और 304 का मुकदमा बनता है क्योंकि लाठियों से किसान की हत्या हो गई है और जो मुआवजा है जो गाड़ियां तोड़ी हैं उसका मुआवजा क्योंकि किसी कानून में नहीं है उनका मुआवजा और जिनको चोटे हैं उनको दो लाख रुपए प्रति घायल मुआवजा और जो जिसकी डेथ हुई है उसको 25 लाख का मुआवजा और उसके एक परिवार को नौकरी क्या और भी हरियाणा या पंजाब से किसानों को बुलाने का आह्वान दिया है आप लोगों ने आज भी देखिए अपनी मर्जी से हरियाणा और पंजाब से कुछ किसान आ रहे हैं अभी उस तरह का आह्वान तो नहीं किया कि सारे देश के हैं उस तरह का आह्वान तो अभी नहीं किया जरूरत पड़ेगी तो कुछ भी हो सकता है लेकिन पूरे देश का किसान जो है वो साथ लगने के लिए तैयार है ठीक है शुक्रिया सो दिस वॉज गुड नाम चढ़ोनी इज सेंग दैट वी विल कंटिन्यू विथ आर एन डेफिनेट प्रोटेस्ट टिल द गवर्नमेंट मैनेजेस और टिल द गवर्नमेंट कॉल्स देम फॉर टॉक्स और एक्सेप्ट देर डिमांड ऑल राइट गजाली इंटरेस्टिंग डिवेलपमेंट दे बिकॉज द गवर्नमेंट डिड एक्चुअली कॉल uh the farmers for talks uh, those talks uh, you know failed uh, gurnam singh chaduni has uh, you know listed out these demands in the past as well clearly the stalemate between uh, the government and the farmers continues what is the strategy gazali going forward uh, we know the mahapanchayat was only scheduled for yesterday but you're saying farmers are still camping in karnal how long are they planning to stay there see we have seen how they have held similar protest in singhu border or tikri border that uh, uh, even if it calls for staying or sit in protest to continue for weeks and months they are capable of doing that because even yesterday uh, the entire uh, farmers group which attended the mahapanchayat they were getting very very impatient till the, by the late evening it was announced that they will have to gather the dc residents or the dc office here so as of now we can see there are many farmers you can see a glimpse of some of them here but on highways on adjacent roads farmers from uh, local areas from karnal and from other districts are already coming in their station here so it is not an issue for them to for how long the protest will continue they can sit here for weeks and months and they say that we have shown it at uh, singhu border where the right. protest is going on for the last 10 months well ghazali the question really is can this therefore be called you know a resurgence of the farmer agitation and there were many questions that were asked over the fact that you know is it purely political uh, with the farmers muzaffarnagar rally ahead of uh, you know the muzaffarnagar mahapanchayat ahead of the uttar pradesh election a bit to exert pressure uh, but uh, you know there there are no impending uh, elections in uh, haryana we we don't have clarity on the panchayat elections just yet Uh, so can this therefore be looked at as a resurgence of the farmer agitation see if you see the approach of up government and haryana government up also uh, the fundamental is up a massive mahapanchayat was held there 
but the state government or the district administration didn't try to stop them. Neither did they send any sort of feelers that farmers will not be allowed to attend the Mahabharata. But unlike UP in... All right, uh, Ghazali, we seem to be having some audio trouble uh, with your line there. We'll try and fix that. But uh, very interesting developments that are in fact taking place uh, in Karnal. What was scheduled to be a Mahapanchayat protesting against the August 28 violence against farmers uh, has now turned into a sit-in protest. Remember, the government called uh, for talks with the farmers yesterday. Those tech tech, uh, those uh, those talks failed. And uh, what we are seeing right now perhaps could be a resurgence of the farmer agitation. They are uh, stuck on their demands. They do want compensations. They want the officer who made the breakhead's remark to be sacked, not just transferred. Meanwhile, uh, my colleague Sharad caught up with Yogendra Yadav, who is also part of the protest. Let's listen into what he said. Karnal ke lagu sachivale ke saamne kisano ka dharna jari hai. Mere saath Yogendra Yadav hai. सर क्या सिंगो बॉर्डर टीकरी बॉर्डर गाजीपुर बॉर्डर की तरफ ये करनाल का लघु सचिवालय बॉर्डर भी होगा मैं उम्मीद करता हूँ कि इसकी नौबत नहीं आएगी आनी चाहिए नहीं क्योंकि हमारी तो एक बहुत छोटी सी मांग है ये कोई तीन कानून रद्द करने वाला मोर्चा नहीं है हम तो सिर्फ ये कह रहे हैं कि भाई जिस अफसर ने किसानों का सर फोड़ने की बात पब्लिक में कही वीडियो पे आई पूरा देश थुतु कर रहा है उस पर आप कार्यवाही करो और उसके बाद जो किसानों के ऊपर लाठी चार्ज हुआ सर फोड़े उनके बारे में कुछ मुआवजा होना चाहिए इतनी छोटी बात के लिए कोई महीनों धरना चलाने का कोई इरादा नहीं है मेरी अभी भी उम्मीद है चाहती तो सरकार कल इसको सुलझा सकती थी नहीं तो मेरी उम्मीद है कि आज तक कल आ जाएगी जितना खींचेंगे उतना उनके लिए महंगा होता जाएगा उन, उनका कहना है कि कार्रवाई तो कर दिया ट्रांसफर तो कर दिया उनको वो एस करनाल थे अब उनको सचिवालय में चंडीगढ़ ट्रांसफर कर दिया है कल हमारी बातचीत में डीसी ने सबने खुद माना ट्रांसफर इज नॉट पनिशमेंट और वैसे भी सरकार ने तो स्पष्ट कहा है इस ऑफिसर के बारे में कि इसके ऑफिस इसके ट्रांसफर के पीछे कोई भी इसके बारे में नेगेटिव हमारा विचार नहीं है सरकार खुल के कह रही है कि उसने जो किया काम ठीक था शब्दों की चॉइस गड़बड़ थी मतलब वो कहता कि लाठियों से फूल बरसा तो बहुत अच्छा हो जाता है ना तो इसलिए सच ये है कि कोई उसको ना सिर्फ एक्शन नहीं हुआ है बल्कि उसको तो इनाम मिला है बैच को प्रमोशन हुआ उसको भी प्रमोशन मिला है उसके साथ हम सिर्फ इतना चाहते हैं कि एक संकेत जाए जिससे आगे से किसी अफसर की जाए आई हो आई हो किसी अफसर की हिम्मत ना हो कि किसानों के बारे में इस तरह की बातें कर सके क्या आपको लग रहा है कि भले ही जुबान थी उनकी और शब्द सरकार के हैं जिस तरह से आप लोग आपको मान रहे हैं कि सरकार उनके साथ खड़ी हुई कोई कार्रवाई नहीं कर रही है अगर कोई कार्रवाई नहीं होती सीएम सिटी में एसडीएम कुछ बात बोलता है बोलने पे सीएम कोई कार्रवाई नहीं करते बल्कि उसके कंधे पे हाथ रखते हैं इसका मतलब है ऑर्डर सीएम के थे और सीएम बेचारा अपने आप को कैसे सस्पेंड करे मामला यहीं पे अटका हुआ ठीक है तो किस तरह की कार्रवाई चाह रहे हैं कार्रवाई किस तरह की हमने कहा था कि वैसे तो उनके खिलाफ केस दर्ज एफ दर्ज होनी चाहिए ये बिल्कुल लोगों को मर्डर के लिए उकसाने का काम 302 के अंदर कार्यवाही हो लेकिन जब बातचीत आगे बढ़ी तो हमने कहा कि चलिए बिल्कुल मिनिमम पे अगर इसको खत्म करना है तो उसको इंक्वायरी कीजिए लेकिन इंक्वायरी से पहले सस्पेंड कीजिए उसे सरकार उसको भी तैयार नहीं है अब इंक्वायरी और सस्पेंशन तो बहुत रूटीन चीज है सरकार के काम के अंदर सरकार उसके लिए भी तैयार नहीं है अब इतना नहीं कर सकते तो भाई फिर तो हमें आंदोलन करना ही पड़ेगा बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद करनाल के लघु सचिवालय से अपने कैमरा सहयोगी अश्विनी मेहरा के साथ में शरद शर्मा एनडी मीडिया All right, we will continue to keep a close watch on all the developments from uh, Karnal. A day-long Mahapanchayat now has become a sit-in protest. How long are farmers really going to sit there for? We'll keep a close watch on those developments. Meanwhile, let's shift our focus now to the other big political story we're tracking, putting an end to all speculation. The Congress party has announced that it will not field a candidate against the West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee in the upcoming Bhavanipur by-polls, which she's contesting later this month. The Congress has also clarified that they won't be campaigning against against her either the left on the other hand which had earlier said that if the congress will not contest then they were ready to do so is yet to react to the congress's position now uh
the two were in an alliance for the West Bengal Assembly elections that were held earlier this year. Both, of course, drew a blank. Now, the Congress feels that by fielding a candidate against the Chief Minister, it may indirectly help the BJP in some way. And the High, com the high Command has decided that they don't want to do that. That's what the West Bengal Congress Chief and MP Adhiranjan Chaudhary had to say. Listen in. Congress Podole Shorbocho Netite Shidanto, Hobani Pure, Momoda Vanajir Birude, Congress Kono Prati Devena, Kono Prochar Kurvena, Prochar Kurvena, Prochar Kurvena, Momoda Vanaji Birude, Bobani Pure, Prochar Kurvena, Momoda Vanaji Birude, Somerton of Somerton, Momoda Vanaji with the Mar Prochar Kurvana. Dig Bobulo. Well, that was slipping into a short break. Coming up on the other side, we will talk about the fears of a third wave in Maharashtra. Are they unfounded or is there tangible reason to believe that this is the onset of the third wave? Welcome back. On to the other big development we're tracking. Cabinet Minister in Maharashtra, Government and the Mayor of Mumbai have both said that the third wave is here. Mumbai cases are up 55% from two weeks ago. But what really is the situation on the ground in the state? Here's a report. At least two officials in Maharashtra have said the third wave is here. In Mumbai and in Nagpur. Mumbai's cases in September are already 28% of all of August's. The last week has seen over 2,800 cases, which is 55% more than the weekly total a fortnight ago. In Nagpur, a minister from the Congress declared a third wave as well. Today, we double figure. आगे है इसका मतलब हमारे यहाँ थर्ड वेव का आगमन हो गया है उसका मुकाबला करने के लिए हमारा प्रशासन सजग रहे कड़क निर्बंध हमको लगाने पर मजबूर होना ही पड़ेगा और वो लगे लगेंगे। But in Nagpur, while the jump over the last fortnight is sharper, over 150 percent, the total cases are only 49. So is it being blown out of proportion? Two top ministers played down the third wave comments. नागपूरच्या बाबतीत त्यांनी एक त्यांचे पालकमंत्री म्हणून आढावा घेऊन काही गोष्टी जरूर बोलल्या असतील परंतु आज मला एक नक्की सांगायचं आहे की निर्बंध वाढवण्याच्या संदर्भात आरोग्य विभाग किंवा माननीय मुख्यमंत्री अद्याप काही असा विचार विचारात नाही आहेत की माननीय मुख्यमंत्रीच या बाबतीतले ऑब्झर्वेशन आणि आकडे लक्षात घेऊन निर्णय घेतील मला वाटतं आत्ता काळजी आपण स्वतःहून घेणं गरजेचं आहे कारण थोडी जी लोकांमध्ये मनात शंका असते की जायला पाहिजे की नको मला वाटतं जेवढं जेवढं तुम्ही स्वतःची काळजी घेऊ शकाल अंतर ठेवू शकाल मास्क घालू शकाल आणि गर्दी कमी करू शकाल तेवढे निर्बंध कमी लागतील कारण तिसरी लाट जसं मी सांगितलं हे पूर्णपणे आपल्यावर निर्भर आहे की आपण किती लवकर ती खेचायची की किती लांब ठेवायची क्राउड आर एक्सपेक्टेड इन द रन अप टू द गणेश चतुर्थी नेक्स्ट वीक more than two-thirds of the COVID patients at major COVID centers in Mumbai are at the moment unvaccinated, according to a study of the numbers of these centers. With people out on promenades like Marine Drive, marshals like these are ensuring that people wear masks. In the meantime, leaders like Nitin Raut, Energy Minister and Mumbai Mayor Kishori Pednikar are saying the third wave is already here, based on the spike in the number of COVID cases over the last few days. But Health authorities say that the current numbers of COVID cases is nothing close to what is expected in the third wave. In Mumbai with camera person Rajendra Dhyalkar, Saurabh Gupta, NDTV. Moving on from uh, Maharashtra to Kerala, cases have dipped. They are under 29,000 on a daily basis, but still 69% of all of India's cases are coming from Kerala at the moment. The Kerala government, however, has decided to lift night curfews and even the Sunday lockdown. In the COVID review meeting, the church is the same as the church. The church is the same as the church. The church is the same as the church. Pinvili kan, inatay, 
അവലോകന യോഗം തീരുമാനിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ആ ടോപ്പ് ഫോക്കസ് സ്റ്റോറി കണ്ടിന്യൂസ് ടു റിമെയിൻ ദ ഫാമർ ആജിറ്റേഷൻ ഇൻ കർണാൽ വൺ ഡേ മഹാപഞ്ചായത്ത് ദറ്റ്സ് നൌ ടേൺ ഇൻ ടു എ ഫുൾ ഫ്ലെജ്ഡ് സിറ്റ് ഇൻ പ്രോട്ടസ്റ്റ് ആഫ്റ്റർ ടോക്സ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ദ ഗവൺമെന്റ് ആൻഡ് ദ ഫാമേഴ്സ് ഇൻ കർണാൽ ഫെയിൽഡ് യെസ്റ്റർഡേ ദ ഹീൽഡ് ഇൻ നഥിങ് അഡ്മിനിസ്ട്രേഷൻ ഓഫീസസ് ഇൻ കർണാൽ ഹാവ് ബിക്കം ദ സൈറ്റ് ഓഫ് എ ഫേസ് ഓഫ് വൺസ് അഗെയിൻ ദ ഫാമേഴ്സ് ആർ പ്രോട്ടസ്റ്റിംഗ് അഗെയിൻസ്റ്റ് ദ ട്വന്റി എയ്റ്റ് ഓഗസ്റ്റ് ലാഠി ചാർജ് ദേ ഹവ് ഗെയർ ഔട്ട് ദ മിനി സെക്രട്ടേറിയറ്റ് they are demanding that action be taken against uh, the official who made the break the heads of farmers remark and was caught on camera they are also demanding compensation for those injured and lives lost in the august violence let's go right across to my colleague mohammad ghazali tracking all the details from ground zero ghazali it does appear that the one day mahapanchayat is now turned into uh, you know a sit in protest you yourself have been talking about it since the morning that the farmers are there and there's no uh, there's no real end in sight to when they are planning to leave karnal Yes certainly there doesn't seem to an end to this maha panchayat or the sitting gathering here uh, near the deputy commissioner's office only because haryana government has never felt shy of using force they have never is, uh, held any talks with the farmers even in previous protest we had seen in the last one year the protest across haryana punjab and up have intensified over a year against the farm laws but when it comes to haryana we have seen more than 136 fir's have been filed against the protesting farmers across the state in the last one year and yet in most of the cases when farmers do such sit in protest the government is forced to withdraw the fir but in this particular case where uh, lathi charge happened on august august 28 many farmers and cops were injured since then a couple of rounds of talks were held between the farmers and the district admin even the chief minister kept an eye on this entire uh, negotiation which happened yesterday yet it remained inconclusive because their demands of uh, asking administration to take some action against the ias officer is something which was not accepted by the administration and yet the ias officer who was the then sdm when the lathi charge took place has been shifted to a department in chandigarh which is a project which is a pet project of chief minister manohar lal khatta and many see it not as a punishment but as a promotion for that young ias officer and even senior officers in the haryana government we spoke to uh, appeared to have some sympathy towards the young officer saying he lacks experience and whatever he said came out in the heat of the moment but here the farmers who are sitting in the protest are not just agitated about the lathi charge incident on and off you would have heard haryana cm reiterating that the farmers protesting at singhu border are not haryanis they are punjabi residents 85% of the protesters are from punjab haryana protesters are misled by punjab government so such comments from the government or the C, or, or from the chief minister seems to have irked them more that is why more numbers of farmers from haryana's districts have started coming in or have gathered here to prove that even haryana is at the forefront uh, of the protest against the farm laws Well thanks Ghazali for joining us uh, with the very latest uh, we are going to continue to keep a close watch on all those developments from Karnal clearly what uh, was set out to be a one day mahapanchayat in Karnal has now turned into a full fledged sit in protest after talks have failed the government is unrelenting and the farmers refuse to budge we'll continue to track that stalemate very closely meanwhile let's shift our focus at the moment uh, to the top developments we're tracking from Afghanistan remember the Taliban have announced an interim government in which top terrorists are now ministers mullah hasan akund has been named as the head of the interim Taliban government dreaded terrorists Raj Haqqani has been named as the Afghan Interior Minister. Mullah Omar's son is going to be the Defence Minister in this interim government and Mullah Baradar has been named as the Deputy Prime Minister. Top wanted terrorists are now in the Taliban government. Afghanistan's new Prime Minister and Interior Minister are on global terror watch list. Former President Hamid Karzai, Leader Abdullah Abdullah have found no space in the Taliban government. only taliban leaders have formed this new afghan government making it clear that it is a hard line government anybody who had expectations from taliban 2.0 being any different well the interim government 
has clarified all of that. Needless to say, no women, of course, have found any representation. The question is whether there was a Pakistan hand behind the Afghan terror government. Haqqani is being given key portfolios, not one, but two Haqqanis being given portfolio of interior uh, ministry and another ministry has been given the Doha political wing being sidelined and only hardliners really getting key posts. Now, while the Taliban government was put in place yesterday, resistance forces fighting in the Taliban have said that this announcement of this interim government or caretaker government by the insurgent group is illegal. In a statement, the group said, and I quote, the new cabinet is a sign of the group's enmity with Afghan people. Call on Afghan citizens to continue resident, uh, the resistance. Uh, continue the resistance against the Taliban, its terrorist allies. We plan to continue uh, to resist the totalitarianism, the extremism. The illegitimate regime is a threat to the nation's stability. This is an illegal regime that is a threat to the region and the world. The UN, the EU and regional groupings should not recognize this government and refrain from any diplomatic ties. The world community should declare support to the Afghan people. The resistance force will soon declare a legitimate democratic political structure. Welcome back. India grabbed five gold medals from the Paralympics, a never-before result. And four of these shining stars spoke to NDTV in this candid conversation. They spoke about their trials, tribulations, rejections and, of course, their inspiration. The gold medal moment, where everyone was waiting for that. Uh, it was it was like uh, I went blank for some time when I won the gold, and I I was just in the moment at that time, and I didn't know what was happening around me. But when the flag went up, when when the national anthem of India was played, and it, it was just so overwhelming, I was so happy. Manish, inspiration ki baate ho rahi hai. Aap uh, aapke jo family hai, usme sirf aap nahi, teen teen shooters hai. Aapke uh, छोटे भाई और बहन दोनों वर्ल्ड चैंपियनशिप के लिए जाएंगे यू आर द इंस्पिरेशन फॉर दे हाँ इंस्पिरेशन कह भी सकते हैं ये लेकिन शूटिंग एक ऐसा गेम है कि छोटे से भी सीखा जाता है बड़ों से भी सीखा जाता है फील्ड पे जब पहली बार आए आपको बहुत मुश्किलें हुई इसमें एक दिन जब मैं गया था फादर लेके गए थे तो उन्होंने बोला कि तुम्हें तुम क्या खेलोगे कि इतने लम, इतने बड़े बड़े हैं हाइट में तुम कैसे जीत पाओ मैंने बोला एक बार ट्राई कर सकता हूँ क्या तो रिक्वेस्ट करने के बाद जब मुझे कोर्ट पर खेलने को दिया तो सर ने बोला सच में तो आज तब सर को भी जो वहाँ के कोच है मेरे जहाँ मैंने सीखा है खेलना तो वो भी थोड़ा शॉक हो गए थे प्रमोद फाइव टाइम वर्ल्ड चैंपियन जब आप बड़े हो रहे थे बिफोर यू टू कप बैडमिंटन किस तरह के यू नो सोशल स्टिग्मा आपको झेलना पड़ा दो में मैं वर्ल्ड वर्ल्ड चैंपियन बना तब इतना पॉपुलरिटी नहीं था पैरा में तब मैं एक अपने एक छोटा सा शॉप खोल के बैठा था इलेक्ट्रिकल शॉप वर्कशॉप मैं हर हर सुबह आता था और शाम को जाता था वर्कशॉप के बाद तो मुझे याद आते थे कि मैं वर्ल्ड चैंपियन वेटिंग फॉर दैट इट वॉज इट वॉज लाइक आई वेंट ब्लैंक फॉर सम टाइम एन आई वॉन्ट द गोल्ड एंड आई आई वॉज जस्ट इन द मोमेंट एट दैट टाइम एंड आई डेंट नो वॉट वॉज हैपनिंग अराउंड मी but when the flag went up when when the national anthem of india was played and it, it was just so overwhelming i was so happy krishna har athlete ka ek jalwa hota hai ek there is one special thing about every athlete aur aapka hai jump smash agar iska starting batau to as a meri family mein sab log normal hai normal height sabka to mera bhai mere se lamba hai chota wala to as a thoda back do shirt lagate the ki kaun kitna lamba jump kar sakta hai to hum तो ऐसे ट्रेनिंग हो गया जैसे मैं फिजिकल एक्टिविटीज़ पहले बहुत करता था तो उसमें हम बहुत ये सब चीज़ें बहुत करते थे क्योंकि मुझे एक बार ये था कि मुझे मेरा हाइट बढ़ान हाइट के लिए मैं बहुत कुछ करता था उस वक्त अपनी टॉकिंग अबाउट इंस्पिरेशन वी नो दैट यू वर इंस्पायर्ड बाय अभिनव बिंद्राज गोल्ड मेडल एंड द बुक रीच यू एट सम पॉइंट वुड यू से दैट काइंड ऑफ वॉज अ टर्निंग पॉइंट फॉर यू एंड दैट वॉज द मोमेंट यू वॉन्टेड टू बिकम अ प्रोफेशनल शूटर when i went to the shooting range in 2015 i went uh, in my summer vacations and it was just a hobby in the starting and uh, i didn't i couldn't even lift the rifle properly and uh, when i started it, it, it i i was just like i borrowed it from someone i didn't have any proper equipment so it was just normal hobby uh, 
But when I read uh, Abhinav Bindra sir's auto autobiography, it inspired me a lot. And you know, he was the you know only uh, individual gold medalist at that time. And I I also dreamt of you know representing my country at such levels, and you know hopefully win a medal at that time. So um, yeah, that that you can say it was a turning point in my life because shooting has uh, given me. Uh, a lot of self confidence a lot of self believe and you know i can now uh, roll around the world on wheels and it's it's like it is all which is coming to me is because of shooting so yeah you can see world on wheels if you were to meet abhinav today what would you tell him um thank you so much <laughs> and you know uh, it's because of uh, someone like him that inspired me so you know i also want to become someone the this someone to uh, a lot of people so that you know nobody can feel like we can we can't achieve some something and you know someone look at me and say that because of her i didn't give up manish inspiration ki baatein ho rahi hai aap uh, aapke jo family hai usme sirf aap nahi teen teen shooters hai aapke uh, chote uh, bhai aur behan dono world championship ke liye jayenge you are the inspiration for them to take up uh, shooting शूटिंग uh, मैम हाँ इंस्परेशन कह भी सकते हैं ये लेकिन शूटिंग एक ऐसा गेम है कि छोटे से भी सीखा जाता है बड़ों से भी सीखा जाता तो सीखना ये नहीं होता कि मतलब बड़े से ही सीखा जाता सिर्फ है सिर्फ सीखा सीखना नहीं बट इतने बड़े स्टेज में हाँ, परफॉर्म करना मेडल्स लाना तो जैसे मैं मेडल लेके आता हूँ तो उनके भी ये रहता है कि मतलब भाई लेके आए तो हमें भी करना ये तो वो ऐसे भी रहता है और हम आपस में कंपटीशन भी करते हैं कभी बहन जीत जाते हैं कभी शिवा जीत जाता है कभी मैं जीत जाता हूँ तो ये चलता ही रहता है हमारा फील्ड पे जब पहली बार आए आपको बहुत मुश्किलें हुई इसमें एक दिन जब मैं गया था फादर लेके गए थे तो उन्होंने बोला कि तुम्हें तुम क्या ही खेलोगे कि इतने लम इतने बड़े बड़े हैं हाइट में तुम कैसे जीत पाओ मैंने एक बार ट्राई कर सकता हूँ क्या तो रिक्वेस्ट करने के बाद जब मुझे कोर्ट पर खेलने को दिया तो सर ने बोला सच में तो आज तब सर को भी जो वहाँ के कोच है मेरे जामे ने सीखा है खेलना तो वो भी थोड़ा शौक हो गए थे कि अरे फर्स्ट टाइम पे मतलब ऐसे खेल रहा है तो तब वहाँ पर उन्होंने बोला कि ट्रेनिंग जब मेरा स्टार्ट हुआ था वहाँ पर से दोबारा प्रमोद फाइव टाइम वर्ल्ड चैंपियन ये जो लफ्ज़ है हम मेरी के लिए यूज़ करते हैं कि फाइव टाइम वर्ल्ड चैम्पियन मैं अपने दर्शकों को कहना चाहूँगी हमारे साथ एक और फाइव टाइम वर्ल्ड चैम्पियन बैठे हुए हैं इन पैरा बैडमिंटन पिछले कुछ सालों से आप एक बैडमिंटन इकोसिस्टम में शायद रह रहे हैं उससे पहले देर वॉज नो इकोसिस्टम आप अपने सिस्टर के घर में रहते थे ओडिशा में हाँ, ओडिशा में अपने हाँ, में। सिस्टर के साथ तो रहते थे हाँ। उस टाइम में जब आप बड़े हो रहे थे बिफोर यू टू कप बैडमिंटन किस तरह के यू नो सोशल स्टिग्मा आपको झेलना पड़ा वू वू ऑल्सो अक्टिम ऑफ बुलिंग दो में मैं वर्ल्ड वर्ल्ड चैंपियन बना तब इतना पॉपुलरिटी नहीं था पैरा में इवन पैरालंपिक में भी इतना नहीं था हाइक और ना ही मतलब तब के दौर पे देखा जाए तो स्पोर्ट्स को कोई रिकोगनाइज नहीं करता था तब मैं एक अपने मैं एक छोटा सा शॉप खोल के बैठा था इलेक्ट्रिकल शॉप वॉर शॉप उस पर था तो वो मेरा एक टाइम था जो मुझे आज यहाँ पर पहुँचाया है मैं हर हर सुबह आता था और शाम को जाता था वाट्सअप के बाद तो मुझे याद आते थे कि मैं वर्ल्ड चैम्पियन Well up next it's over to Rohit Khilnani for all the top news from the world of entertainment. News from the world of entertainment. Alia Bhatt shared an Instagram story where she announced that she's completed the shoot of her film Darlings. Remember this is the same film that was announced by Shah Rukh Khan on his Twitter handle. This is Alia Bhatt's first home production. This film also stars Shifali Shah, Vijay Verma and Roshan Matthew. Bollywood stars are out and about in Mumbai of course maintaining social distancing and also wearing a mask as per the rules so fans are getting pictures with them wherever possible but with a mask on take a look at this video that Karthik Aryan who stopped outside Mehboob studio to let his fans click some selfies i think he can't decide whether he should have the mask on or he should take it out <laughs> 